Okay, round two. Welcome to the shop, or welcome back. Today we're going to attempt to build a step pulley for the lathe. I've upgraded the motor, uh, and I'll take a photo of that eventually. I will be using this piece of aluminum, and it will see a great deal of work. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to video some of it. Uh, we'll see how much energy I have or whether these cameras are going to work or not. All right, that is the DC drive motor. Uh, I built the box to control it. Uh, pictured as a pulley that is not machined yet. That's what we're going to replace. There's the thing running. Um, and the belt is still pretty loose but that was kind of the point was to build a variable speed uh, the ability to attach that variable speed motor um, and then of course this pulley down here needs to have this pulley this type of pulley anyway uh, made for it and I covered this in the intro but I'll mention it mention it again I'm gonna use this big old piece of aluminum to accomplish that and now all right okay I've got to get this pulley built as this belt is slipping like crazy uh, I'm running the super incorrect uh, diameter of pulley on the drive motor and it's just slipping like crazy so I'm only capable of taking about a half of a thousandth of a cut at a time it's a very slow and tedious process and is producing a great deal of heat which I, I really don't care for and I'm grateful that it's so cold outside or this would probably take even longer uh, anyway uh, let's let's just Fire up the lathe real quick and make a cut. Um, I'm gonna back it off a tad just to uh, show what it's doing. <laughs> That's about as deep of a cut as I could make. I'm pulling the way it is. And that's just because the waves are out of trap. So gonna let this part cool down it's warm enough that it's swelling a little bit and it's creating some issues but, but I thought it would be kind of neat to just show it running even though it's slipping and it's got plenty of power it just the belt uh, as it points as it sits is about three inches too long and it's slipping like crazy and just can't maintain any kind of torque whatsoever well I figured this would be a good place to pause uh, I'm just getting ready to put the 17.2 uh, <laughs> millimeter through hole into the thing and uh, more than likely I'll get it on the mill today and drop in some set screws so that I could attach it to the lathe and this has really been an exercise in patience 
um, which is kind of par for the course, I guess, for anything machining. But anyway, quick progress update.